Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a small review of Panda Dome. A lot of people is asking me questions about VPN, if I'm using one when I'm streaming or whatever, and um, it, which one did I use and is it important for you guys? So right now I'm going to do a test on the, the new VPN by Panda Dome. Uh, it's it's a pretty good tool for people who doesn't know like how VPN works. First of all, it's it just changed your IP. So for example, I don't know, you live in Canada, you, you can see uh, some content because the website is locked to United States resident. You can use like a VPN, connect to a United States IP, and you will see the content that uh, the, that the United States resident can see on their country. So this one is pretty nice because first of all, it's an all-in-one tool. So you have like a scanner, you have the antivirus, you have the PC cleanup, and you have the VPN. Also, a guy like me, I don't really like antivirus, so you can just like uh, unselect it and disable it from the Panda Dome and just use the VPN. So you're not, uh, you don't have to use everything that you can see here. You can just use the VPN if you want. Um, the the really nice stuff about it, it's it's really like an easy access uh, VPN, honestly. You click on the VPN part, uh, as you can see, it's unlimited bandwidth, so really nice. And after that, you just choose the server that you wanna use. You can use automatic if you want. They, uh, for now, they provide 20 different server. Uh, the only thing that I can see here is, um, it's only one server by country, so you don't really see, you can't, you can't select, for example, East in United States, West United States, so it can't affect a little bit your ping. Uh, sometimes when I was using the United States one, I was getting like 90, 95 uh, MS for my ping, but the download is pretty quick, honestly. I'm getting the same result when I just use my internet without any VPN, so that's a good thing. So you just select your country, for example, you say Canada, you connect, and now I'm connected to the new IP. So if you want to make sure that uh, your IP change, just go to uh, my uh, what's my IP.com, refresh it, and now you can see I'm connected in Montreal. So now I'm connected in the United States. Uh, let's do a speed test to make sure that uh, the speed is uh, is all right. So let's start this connecting. So now me, I'm living in um, Quebec, Canada. So as you can see, I don't have the same IP. So as you can see, I'm getting a nice result. Normally I have 120 uh, MB in my home for download. So that's pretty good. Exactly, my ping is 21. Uh, right now I think it's using, a, I'm testing an AT&T New York server. And for my upload, normally I have 20. It's struggling a little bit, but honestly it's almost there. So that's pretty good. So this is a really nice result for those people who uh, uh, asking me question about like, well, is it good with Twitch? Is it good like with whatever? So uh, this is a really nice result for a VPN. So yeah, back to the um, the software itself. So um, it's really cool because first of all, it's compatible on any streaming, uh, torrent, download, a lot of VPN over there that you can't use. And uh, sometimes they don't allow uh, torrent download. So that's pretty good. Uh, also, what can I say, uh, like I said, the speed is very good too. The only issue for me right now is the lack of customization. You don't have a lot of options. If you click here, yeah, you can say, for example, when I restart my computer, uh, I want my VPN always on, so you don't want to, you know, just like click on it and uh, boot it. But uh, it's pretty, it's an easy VPN. So you just select your country, you connect, that's it. Um, so you don't have a, a lot of different server that you can choose and stuff like that. So it's pretty basic. And also a really important stuff to say, it's powered by Hotspot Shield. Hotspot Shield have a good reputation with their VPN. So it's not like just a random VPN that the Panda don't decide to develop. They did a partnership uh, to do that. Uh, also, if we want to talk about price now. So for pricing, you can use my uh, referral link. Uh, you will have a nice deal, 70% if you take a three years deal. It's uh, $3.72 Canadian by month. So a pretty decent deal. You get a lot of advantage with uh, the VPN. 
uh, example unlimited bandwidth uh, you got like more than 20 server that you can use but not server but different location uh, available for up five devices so that's really cool too uh, you can install it on uh, multiple computer if you have a laptop a desktop and stuff like that so it's pretty good uh, actually i did a test uh, for the past two weeks i was using it when i was streaming on Twitch and I didn't have like any issue with stability and speed so that's for me it's really important because if you want to protect uh, your IP because you don't want to get DDoS or whatever uh, that's a good thing to know you know uh, if the Panda VPN can uh, support um, Twitch because uh, in the past I, I've used other uh, VPN that I will not tell the name that I was struggling with my uh, stability of my uh, upload uh, I didn't get my 6,000 bit rate uh, constantly, so it was a, a big issue for me. So that's about it, guys. If you have any question about VPN or Panda VPN, just uh, comment in the YouTube section. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.